Hello everyone, today we are going to do another room from Drag Me that is named Neighbor. So I have not solved this room yet and this is my first time looking at it. So let's solve this room together. We can see this uh, challenge belongs with the iron vulnerability as it is said in the task. As it clearly says you definitely will not be able to find any secrets that other people have in their profile. And also in the mention you can see the similar content as iDOR. So therefore let's just quickly see what we have here. And in the task you can see it is to find the flag on the neighbor's logged in page. So we need to have a look on another profile I guess. So let's browse over to the IP in our browser. Here's my virtual machine. Let's this is a full, uh, full screen. Okay. Oh, let me first of all connect to my open VPN. All right, there we are. And there we have the login page. It says friend of credentials, username and password. If you don't have an account, use a guest lead account. Control plus U. Control plus U, usually you can see the source code. It's a shortcut key for viewing a page source. So if you right click here, you can see it says view page source. It does the same thing as Control U. That being said, in the source code we can see it says if you don't have an account you can use the guest account and use guest guest as the credentials that means guest username and guest is a password until registration is fixed admin user account is off limits i'm not sure what that means admin user account is off limits well i don't know but uh, we know that there's a, a username named admin all right so let's see if we can log in using guest guest and here we are, it says, hi guest, welcome to our site, try not to peep your neighbor's profile. Okay, this is a simple page, it says profile.php user equals to guest, ah, there it is, I guess. It says user equals to guest. This is a parameter, it defines which user we are going to log in as, I believe. So if I do it as user equals to admin, because we just, we saw earlier that in the source code it is written clearly, that admin user account is off limit, that means admin is a valid username on this website. Therefore, um, we can try admin, and that is it. It solves our challenge. It says, "Hi admin, welcome to your side. The flag is this, so we have a flag." In the real world scenario, you might not see the username like this in the source code, of course. But to test the idle vulnerability, you can actually create two accounts. Uh, you can name one uh, uh, anything you like, like test, and an another one test dot two, something like that, and then you can. Uh, if you want to check for the adore vulnerability in the real world, then you can just type in here the second username uh, Second user account that you created like test2 from your main account that was test So that is how you can test uh, the adore vulnerability on the real world applications There are a couple of more ways of doing the same thing that just depends on your methodolo methodology in the application you are working on so with regards to this application we have seen that we just need to specify the username here and we have it. So, and I want to see one thing if SQL injection is possible here or not. So if I do, do simple SQL injection, let's see, it says in value user and password. We can try one more. I'm going to, okay, it's not working, never mind. So, um, no, it doesn't. Okay, so we actually need our valid credential, I believe. So, guest oops guest guest and there we are let's take a look if uh, it stores any cookies it does so this a php session i okay so if i do guest okay it just displays a username here so if i do it like or one equals to one Okay, so just taking the value that is printed here, that is supplied here, and it, and it, it is just re reflecting it here. And so the programming has been done in a way that if this user user parameter is equals to admin, then it will display the flag that we have just seen. So if I even do admin and then put a comma here, you won't see the uh, flag because we need to specify the admin only in the username parameter. Okay. So if I do this, nope. All right, so we just need to specify the admin. Okay, so yeah, I was just playing with the application. We have already solved the challenge. So that was it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.